Hello YouTube, it's me, Ultimate Artist. So, have you been? So, this time I'm going to be doing another review again. And I know I haven't done these in a long time, but um, <clears throat> I just wanted to do them again because I know you guys like the other ones that I've done, uh, like the Faber Cast Polychroma review, and if you should buy it, um, the Mona Lisa paint thinner review, and also other ones that I've done in the past. And I know you guys enjoy it, so um, because of the reviews and the likes and stuff like that. So, um, Okay, so I'm going to be reviewing something that I've used for a long time and I really enjoy using and I think it's a great tool. So it's my Tough Stuff uh, eraser stick. So essentially it's just a pen with an eraser at the end so you can use it to erase small detail. I'm going to be telling you guys um, my review on it, my uh, opinion, if it's useful or not and uh, should you guys buy it and also is it the best eraser uh, pen um, for the money. And yep, yeah. so uh, let's get over to the review part. So here's the Tough Stuff Eraser Stick. So um, about the size, it's roughly the same size as a standard sized pen, um, a bit smaller. I mean, uh, here I have a different pen that I'm going to be doing a review on. It's uh, actually a mechanical uh, pencil. But yeah, so as you see, it's a bit smaller, about a third smaller than a regular size pen. This pen is a little smaller, but still, yeah. So I'll let you read it. It is by Papermate uh, Japan. Tough stuff, eraser stick. I'm not gonna sponsor it for this. Just a simple review I'm doing about it. And um, this one costs me about two fifty Canadian. Uh, so that's two dollars fifty cents Canadian. It uh, might be a bit more or a bit less where you live. I know in the U.S. it's probably less. And you could also buy review, uh, refill sticks. So it comes with a regular stick. I know I ran out. Um, I should be refilling it, and I will. But um, yeah, so it comes in a packet of two. The eraser already has one, but you could buy these. Um, the refills are $1.50 as well. So this $2.50, uh, $1.50. So $4 for three sticks is pretty good. Um, one stick usually lasts me about three months of um, medium to heavy use. I used it a lot. For all my work, um, writing it's very really useful because you could write, uh, erase a letter and stuff like that. So I should be refilling it. I will after the video. But yeah, so this is a packet that I bought. Of, a while back I haven't used it yet because I had a um, I bought multiples and yep so I see you could just bring it out a bit the eraser part and nothing happens really it's pretty tight in it it doesn't come out either so I'm going to be doing a review on how well it is uh, comparing it with a regular eraser um, how accurate it is actually so I have three different pencils. I have a 2H pencil, an HB pencil, and then uh, the mechanical pencil. The lead on this is a very different. It's like graphite lead. So it's very hard to erase, but I'll just show you all of it. So, um, I see it's, it's pretty similar to graphite, like a um, charcoal kind of thing. And then I'll go from darkest to lightest. I see the first pencil was the darkest and it's a bit different it's a lot softer than the regular pencils it's really good for sketching because um, it has soft lines so it's easy and uh, now the accuracy so see as you see you could just do a straight line and it's very small so you could um, hit very sharp lines with this and, and it erases the um, mechanical pencil not uh, pretty well I mean uh, it's not white in the end but still and it is a very strong uh, eraser I really recommend it to anyone that's looking to buy a good eraser I see the regular um, standard eraser it's the quality is about the same but you can't get the um, right detail with it because this one has a much smaller eraser I mean with this one there is sharp points but eventually they would dull down and then um, You'd have to erase a large part and then um, or redraw it if you have to. Like if you're drawing a picture, it's very useful to get a smaller eraser. I would really recommend it. And also, I'll show you with my polychromos. It works really well with them as well. And so uh, this paper is standard uh, printer paper, 8.5 by 11. So if you guys are wondering, um, like it's just standard paper, I decided to use it. And not the special paper, uh, like the mixed media pads I use. Because um, it's different, it would be a little unbiased maybe, I don't know. So I used the uh, standard paper. So um, even with these, see you could hit small areas and 
it brings it uh, really light. It uh, erases most of the color away. Just all some of the color it remains, but um, like you see, it's pretty close to white. Uh, but then when you use a regular stick, a first of all you're uh, erasing a large portion, which you'd have to color back later. And also, it's not as strong. Like you see, you have to put more force, and it's not as strong in the end. Um, I mean, it's not a biased review, uh, I'm just saying um, my thought on it. And um, now the end portion, should you guys buy it? Yes, I would recommend this for anyone. I mean, the reason I bought this in the first place was uh, I wanted an el el electric eraser. But um, those were pretty expensive uh, when I bought this. It was about 2-3 years ago, so I was younger and didn't have enough money uh, for those. And... Um, I've read a lot of bad reviews that the battery would, um, wouldn't would last as long, then I would have to refill the batteries, that would be extra cost and so on and so forth. So that would just cost too much and um, <clears throat> uh, after I bought this I decided to use it a few times. I really enjoyed using it so I, then I got some refills and I haven't gone back um, since so I've been using this for about 2-3 to three years. I've only bought about 3 packs of refills in the time that I've done it and um, it only cost me about 10 bucks ten dollars and um, lasted over three years almost so if anyone is looking for a really good eraser stick I would really recommend the tough stuff um, me there's other brands but they're not as uh, accurate as this one I mean uh, you can't get any more accurate than this unless um, the eraser is gonna be like too small to even um, like a race it will it will just break so yeah as you see it has very sharp points so you could get it um, very sharp it depends on how uh, you use the strokes um i know i'm not uh, that good of a reviewer but uh i will improve um and yep so uh, how do you guys like this review and then comment down below if you guys are planning to buy this or if you guys have any al alternatives um to an eraser stick uh, such as the tough stuff and I might do a review on them as well because I'm planning on uh, doing a lot more reviews um, now on. Uh, so comment down below if you guys want me to review any of my materials or anything that you guys use. And um, comment down below. I might buy it, uh, check it out, maybe review it. Any of. So um, as always, uh, please like, subscribe and share. And uh, see you next time at Ultimate Artist. Uh, I've been using these uh, polychromos for almost a year now. I got them way back in June 2014. 